Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and whoever or whatever you identify as, and welcome to the Car of Chaos, and welcome to another video. Right then, so, after the first one, I did mention about the nuclear power station attack that allegedly happened. The video running now will show you what was shown, for all intents and purposes, on the teller. Now, for some unknown reason, because the media told you that was an artillery strike, you believed it. When, for the past few days before that, they'd been showing you artillery strikes, which looked like this. Which is not exactly what you saw, was it? In fact, what you saw was this. Holy shit. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. What you saw was a parachute illumination flare, which the defenders, i.e. the Ukrainians, would have fired up into the air so they could see the enemy and therefore they drifted and started the fire. Now, there was an attack on the nuclear power station, but for some unknown reason, because the media tell you what to think, you don't realise that the Russians are fully aware of what would happen if they blew up a nuclear reactor. Although, to be fair, it would be very, very hard to because they're very well-protected buildings, for obvious reasons. But because the media as they do so spectacularly and have done over and over again, decided to blow this all out of proportion. And the Ukrainian leader himself decided to tell you that there was a Europe was under threat. Were both lies. As you'll see up here on the screen right now, is the actual official event uh, record of exactly what happened. Which was, yes, there was an attack. There was minor damage to one building, a little fire, it was put out and none of the reactors were compromised. In fact, two of the reactors weren't even on. The whole idea of this was to try and garner um, what the Ukrainians are, or the Ukrainian leader is desperately wanting to do, which is to drag NATO into the war. And he's going to do it by saying, oh, well, you see, if it hit that nuclear reactor, we'd have all suffered. Well, yes, he's absolutely right. We probably would have. And those of us of my age can remember the Chernobyl disaster where the radiation went around the world and we had irradiated sheep in Wales, and if I remember quite rightly. And he's right, but the problem is, is they're feeding off that fear. This is why they're now demanding a no-fly zone and all the idiots, blue check marks and media saying, oh, you're going to have a no-fly zone, no-fly zones are great, you know, it'll stop the war. It won't. It won't in any way, shape or form. What it will do is bring us into World War Three. Because if you are not really au fait with what a no-fly zone means, is we would fly aircraft in Ukrainian airspace. And we would prevent Russian aircraft and Russian helicopters from moving. Thus, the only way to do that, if they won't do as they're told, is to shoot at them. 
and the second you fire one missile and shoot down a Russian aircraft, just for a minute, as I always say, and I'm telling you how to think, just think for yourself, you imagine exactly what would happen from that moment on. NATO, the West, need to stay out of this as much as possible, because unfortunately, it appears to me, and although some people seem to think that I'm pro-Russian, I'm not, the Russians are looking for an excuse. They're looking for a reason to start a war. We don't need to give them that reason. And literally not long after I did the previous video about why do you hate Russians and warned you that doing what you're doing will just give Putin ammunition, their foreign secretary comes out, the Russian one that is, and points out the fact that they won't forget about all this Russian phobia and how much the West hates Russia. Exactly as I predicted they would. I am on neither side here. I'm not neither supporting Ukraine or am I supporting Russia. What Russia did invading Ukraine is wrong. Absolutely wrong. But I'm also going to try uh, on these few videos to try and make you understand that you've got to be careful. Got to be careful not to virtue signal ourselves into World War Three, Not to be lied to consistently by both sides, by both medias into a situation where we will be demanding a war without actually understanding why. There was no attack, an artillery strike should I say, on that nuclear power station. That was a lie. It was a lie purely to try and strike fear into all people of Europe's point of view. So we'll get involved in a war and help the Ukrainians, which will drag us into World War Three. And if there's World War Three, the entire planet dies. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing and saying what I'm saying. I know full well it only gets to a few people. But maybe those few people could think. Maybe those few people could share it out and get the message out that, yes, terrible things are happening, but please think. Don't jump up and down, oh, we want an I-flow zone, when you've no idea what a no-fly zone is. Don't believe that the Russians would artillery strike a nuclear power plant knowing full well what would happen if that plant got compromised. As I said, the Russians have full experience after Chernobyl. What happens when a nuclear power plant goes wrong? So as I said before in the first video, I'll say in this one and I'll say in subsequent videos, I'm not telling you how to think. I'm not telling you what to think. I'm not on anyone's side. I'm on the side of humanity, I'm on the side of logical thought. I'm not telling you how to think, I just want you to think. Just really stop believing and being spoon-fed information by the media and think for yourselves. And with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please, if you did, if you did, please thumb it up and share. Share the video. Make sure to show people that, you know, you've got to think logically in this situation. Even though emotion does run us run wild. But as the pandemic showed, you know, if you're lied to and you believe it, that becomes the truth. So with that, I should bring it to a close. If you want to watch some more videos like this, and don't forget my other gaming channel, Pitbull Gaming 66, then please subscribe. And with that, and as always, and until the next one, I am going to love you and leave you.